All right, chapter four, section one, combining functions and function composition. The very last objective in this section is function composition. So here's a definition. Given any two functions, f of x and g of x, the composition of f of x and g of x is denoted as f composed with g at x. That's how we actually write that f is being composed with g. Let me start from the beginning. And given any two functions, f of x and g of x, the composition of f of x and g of x is denoted as f composed with g at x. That's how you write it. And is defined as, now here it is, this is what it means. f composed with g at x is f of g of x, all right? You may want to like highlight this in your notes. Um, this is really important. This is how you are going to compose two functions. But I really want you to focus on this side of the equal sign, right? This is really what it means. All right, here we go. This is example number six. This is the be the first example that we look at for function composition. Example six, let f of x be equal to 3x minus 7 and g of x be equal to x squared plus 2x. Okay, I want to be very clear. These two functions are given to you, okay? These are given. Um, what they want you to find is the following. Find the following, okay? F composed with G at negative 4. Now, there's a few things that I want to say about this. First of all, this F composed with G is a function. It's a composite function. F composed with G is a composite function. And they're basically asking you to find the value of that composite function when you plug in negative 4. So f composed with g at negative 4 is, and that's what you have to figure out. They gave you the input of negative 4, you find the output, or as we like to call it, the function value. Now, uh, I'm going to apply the definition right above here that I wrote, and I actually underlined it in red for you. Um, so reading this definition above, you know, I highlighted it in, a, I put a big old blue box around it. It reads as follows. F composed with G at X is equal to F of G of X. Therefore, reading our problem, F composed with G at negative 4 will be equal to F of G of negative 4. That's, this is me applying the definition of the composite function. All right, I'm going to move this screen up a little bit so that I have room to figure this out. Okay, that should be good. All right, here we go. So I want to explain this a little bit um, before I actually do it. They're asking you to actually plug negative 4 into G first. And then whatever you get as a result, plug that result into F. I'll say that one more time. Plug negative 4 into G first, and then whatever you get as a result, plug that into function F. All right, here we go. So we have F of now we need to plug negative 4 into g okay now g is the qu well, i guess i moved the screen up just a little too far there uh g is the quadratic function x squared plus 2x so when i plug negative 4 into it it's negative 4 squared plus 2 times negative 4 all right this is me plugging negative 4 into g all right let me close this off here all right cool so I need to figure out what that is. So this is equal to f of, again, I'm not ready to do anything with f yet. I got to figure out what g at negative 4 is. Uh, negative 4 squared is 16. 2 times negative 4 is uh, negative 8. Uh, so then we have now f of 
uh, 16 minus 8, which is 8. So you can see now that what we're going to be plugging into function f is the value 8. So here we go. Function f is up here, 3x minus 7, so it'll be 3, uh, excuse me, I think I want to write in red, uh, 3 times 8 minus 7. All right. Again, let me move this up just a little bit here. So what we have now is, of course, 3 times 8 is 24 minus 7. So then our final answer here is 17. This is the function value, guys. So f composed with g at negative 4 is 17. You plug negative 4 into that composite function and you'll get 17 out. All right, cool. I hope that was clear for you. All right, so let me give you another example here. All right, this is still example six, though, okay? Let's call it example six. Um, what, I, what I mean to say is uh, f of x is still given as uh, 3x. That's an equal sign right there. Let me clean that up. Uh, f of x is still 3x minus 7. And g of x is still the same. g of x is x squared plus 2x. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Again, these are your two given functions. All right, so this is the next thing I, I, we want you to find, okay? So the next thing that you'll find is, all right, here we go. Let's find uh, f composed with g at 1. So f composed with g at 1. One. Okay, guys, this example, this next example here, is pretty much exactly the same as the previous example. The only difference is that you're dealing with the number 1 here instead of, what, what did we have earlier, negative 4? So why don't you pause the video right here and then try this out on your own. All right, so let's see how you did. I'm going to show you the whole solution. All right, here it is. So f composed with g at 1 is, by definition, f of g of 1. So we plug 1 into g first. So that'll be 1 squared plus 2 times 1, which turns out to be 3. And then I plug 3 into f, which would be 3 times 3 minus 7, 9 minus 7, which is 2. I hope you did well on that one. Let me give you a couple more to consider. All right, let me move this screen up. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> let me uh, move this whole thing up. There we go. Uh, all righty. Okay, the same two given functions. All right, everybody? All right, f is still 3x minus 7. g of x is still x squared plus 2x. The last two examples, I'm going to write them both down um, uh, at the same time here. So find each of these. g uh, composed with f at 2. Now notice here... Um, we change the order of the composition. Instead of F composed with G, it's G composed with F. Um, and then the next one, when you're done with that one, maybe you can try this one. F composed with itself. F composed with F um, at positive 4. So these are two more examples to wrap this up. So why don't you pause the video and try both of these right now. All right, cool. So let's see how you did on this first one. I'm going to actually work it out live for you right now. So then this is, by definition, g of f of 2. Okay, I'm doing this first example first. g composed with f at 2. All right, cool. So then this is equal to. Now, the first thing we want to do is plug uh, 2 into f. Plug 2 into f. So then it'll be 3 times 2 minus 7 figure out what that is, which we can see uh, is going to be uh, 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So then we want to plug that value of negative 1 into g. So let's do it. Uh, g says, uh, it's up here, x squared plus 2x, right? So then it'll be negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1. All right, so negative 1 squared is positive 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So it'll be 1 minus 2 to give us our final answer of negative 1 is the function value. G composed with f at 2 is negative 1. I hope uh, you did pretty well on that one. Now it's time to do f composed with f at 4. 
Um, again, um, if you haven't had time to do that one yet, why don't you pause the video and give it a shot. All right, cool. Here's the solution. Check it out. See if you did pretty well. It's F composed with F at 4, which is F of, F of 4. So you need to plug 4 into F. So that's 3 times 4 minus 7, 12 minus 7, which is 5. Now it's time to plug 5 into F. So 3 times 5 minus 7, 15 minus 7, which is 8. Good job, guys. All right, let's look at um, a brand new example. We are moving to example 7. 